Hey, hey, how are you doing? Home sir, and welcome back to some more Armor Core 6 boss guide. Today we are going to be taking on the Enforcer boss. And yeah, uh, I think by far this is probably the hardest boss so far I've encountered. <laughs> it gave me so much trouble. I had to like switch out my melee weapon just to deal with this asshole. So yeah, here we go. But as always, before the shit goes down, here's a breakdown of his attacks. Um, he does have these melee attacks, which can hit up to... It can hit once, twice, or three times on first phase. Uh, second phase, he can actually link it up to four times, I believe. And the way you avoid them is you just simply dodge back to avoid them. Um, here we go, here's another clip of it. One... And then two. See, it just stops. All right. Um, because the the way to deal with the way to deal damage to this boss is you want to be close, but you also want to watch out for the melee attack because that does a lot of freaking damage. The reason why you want to be close is because if you're not close, you have to deal with his missiles. So it's either you deal with the blades or you deal with the missile. And I feel like dealing with the blades is probably easier. And you can also hover over to avoid the blades. Now, if you're too close to him, which you should be, because that's how we're going to get the stagger in, you can simply dodge diagonal right to avoid it, okay? And make sure you keep distance afterwards, just in case the boss wants to take a second or third swing at you. Uh, here's another clip. Just dodge diagonal right, okay? That is how you avoid it. Oh, actually, I think I just strafed it at this point. But yeah, you want to keep close and... Keep strafing rights. If you see him do a melee attack as you're really close, uh, dodge it if you can. If you don't have enough uh, stamina, just keep strafing and hope you don't get it. If there is distance between you two and he starts doing melee attacks, just keep dodging back and keep shooting him. Keep building that stun meter. Uh, here's one thing you have to watch out for in the second phase. It's after he does this slam down attack, that's how he initiates the second phase. Uh, sometimes he will combo it with this charged attack, this charged um, lance skewering attack. If you get hit by it, it does so much damage. So be sure to avoid it by dodging either left or right. To make sure this doesn't happen to you. Alright, there's the briefing, there's the breakdowns, let's put it to the test. So in the beginning, he always start to fight off with that laser attack, which you can dodge by either going dodging left or right. Um, he'll ever only do that attack if you're really far away. And the key to this fight, well, to this build success, is you want to keep close as possible to burst down its stun bar like that, and then quickly switch over to your pile driver. Use the heavy charged attack. Well, yeah, charged attack, and let him have it. That's probably the quickest way to deal with some damage. And then just keep strafing either left or right. I like to just keep right. Um, if you break, if he breaks away, trying to get in close. Stunned. Boom. Pile driver, switch back. Make sure you switch back, okay? <laughs> Don't mess that up. Um, use the plasma cannon shots from your shoulder to help um, build up the stun. Alright. I didn't know what he was doing there, and oh, there's a stun. I, I thought he was gonna melee when we were close, but melee a little bit too late. We got the stamina break there, and there's second phase. That shockwave, you gotta be careful because it does so much stun damage, and it can also do like I, I believe like around 2,000 to your AC. So watch out for that. All right, and worst case scenario, if you get hit by that, you follow it up with that thing that skewers your ass, and probably just one. 1-2 combo your ass to death. Here's the melee attacks, like I said, just just dodge back to avoid that. The slam down, just hover and then keep shooting at him. Keep that pressure on. You don't want him to get that stamina back. There we go, another stun. This is good. Alright, stay close so you don't have to deal with the uh, homing missiles and stuff like that. Another slam down, be careful. There is the skewering attack. We managed to dodge slash slash strafe right to avoid it. And there is the final power driver up deep on pits. <laughs> Anyways, that did him in. 
And yeah, so far the toughest boss <laughs> I've encountered. Um, way tougher than Baltaeus in my opinion. But uh, yeah. And as always, here's the build I use for the fights. If you guys want to copy it, there you go. And here's my OS tuning. Make sure you get that second secondary weapon. Uh, it's going to be very useful for this fight. And the rest I just put in um, kinetic damage and a little bit of armor. But yeah, hope this helps. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to catch you all next time. Hopes. Hopes.